Hi guys, Jamie Siddons from Jamie Siddons Coaching here. I want to pose a question today. Let's start a debate on it if you like, but I want to say that the pull shot may be misrepresented as a back foot shot. Maybe it is a front foot shot. Given that the great players that play it, even Ian Chappell who stepped back and across still had a little push into his front foot to allow that, that shot to be played. Ricky Ponting, 100% front foot first. Front foot step, push into his front foot and then he'd execute his pull shot with a push back. But was he hitting the ball when he was on his back foot or still on his front foot? Or was it somewhere in between? So I'm gonna demonstrate how Punto played it, the greatest player of a pull shot I've ever seen anyway. In my time as a coach and a player against him, he would step forward every single ball, almost a lunge forward, pick his hands up. As Soon as he saw it short, he'd stop his front foot step. He'd lunge into that front foot and then he'd push back and hit. He wasn't necessarily on his back foot, weight on his back foot playing it like that. He was still unweighting his front foot to hit the ball. So if I play it the ponting way, step forward, pick my bat up, very important. His hands were always up nice and high. In his back lift, always picking the bat up properly. There, he'd push forward and then he'd hit the ball. But was he here or was he here? Or was he somewhere in between? All right, so the feet there hitting. I know he finished on his back foot, but was he still on his front foot when he hit the ball? Let's start the debate.